Hello and welcome to the presentation of our paper Ghost Target Detection in 3D Radar Data Using Point Cloud Based Deep Neural Network. First, I would like to set the background of the work done and why is Ghost Target Detection an interesting problem to tackle. So first, I'd like to answer the question, why radar? Radar is relatively cheap to produce and robust to different weather conditions, can sim simultaneously measure velocity and position of targets. This makes radar a very attractive sensor for advanced driver assistance systems and autonomous driving. However, due to the nature of radar sensor operation, the possibility of ghost target measurements arises. Ghost targets are caused by radar signals taking an indirect path between the sensor and the target, either on incidence, reflection, or both. As you can see in the figures on the right, the top left figure shows the target in red is real, while the other three figures show examples of ghost targets. Two different approaches have been considered for dealing with ghost targets. Model-based approaches like in Luce AL, a car model is fit to radar data and the orientation of the car is estimated. By comparing the velocity vector measure to the orientation of the car, they were able to detect ghost targets since they had mismatching velocity vectors and orientation. It's worth noting that models can be incomplete and not representative of real scenarios. In this work, two radars were used to estimate the complete velocity vector and it was only tested on sim simulated data. Data-driven approaches, on the other hand, try to infer the properties of the desired targets from the data. One notable work is in this field is by Garcia et al, where they trained a convolutional neural network to identify regions and radar targets in bird's eye view as ghosts of real targets. Unfortunately, this approach would only work for low-resolution sensors in 2D. The dataset we used was measured by an Aztec's high-resolution radar capable of measuring on average more than a thousand targets in 3D that's an order of magnitude higher compared to current series production radar sensors. Before we are able to uh, train a deep neural network to detect ghost targets, we needed ground truth for the problem at hand. Unfortunately, currently available radar datasets do not have labels for ghosts and real targets, and labeling thousands of the, uh, frames would have been extremely time consuming and error prone due to the complexity of the problem. So we developed an automatic labeling algorithm that uses LiDAR data as a reference for labeling the radar data. How does this algorithm work? First of all, we noticed that due to the nature of ghost targets, they will always fall behind an obstacle. The obstacle is the reflector of the last radar ray measured by the sensor, as seen in the examples presented earlier. So we projected the LiDAR data to 2D from the point of view of the radar, and then we densified the LiDAR image, which effectively gave us a dense depth map. We then projected the radar points to 2D and compared them to the LiDAR depth. If the LiDAR depth around a certain radar point falls within a certain, certain threshold for uh, depth, azimuth, and elevation, a target is considered real, otherwise it's a ghost target. Those thresholds are chosen based on the radar specification sheet. The top image here shows the 2D view of the dense depth map with only part of the radar points on top of it to reduce clutter. The dark triangles are the data detected um, ghost targets, while the light squares are the real targets. On the bottom view, the points are shown in 3D, and it's clear now that the green ghost targets are behind walls or underground, while the blue real points are coinciding with the red lighter points. The network we use is based on PointNet, where we added some modifications to tackle the problem at hand. For the input, we added spherical coordinates as the input uh, as input in addition to Cartesian. The point here is that some information is easier to learn from Cartesian inputs. For example, height if a point is above or below ground, and some information is easier to learn from spherical coordinates, for example, if two points are behind each other. Um, same elevation, azimuth, but different depth values. We also added the velocity and reflection magnitude, as well as the ego vehicle information, velocity and orientation. We added a skip connection of the non-coordinate features to provide a higher influence on the output. We are using class balance loss to counteract imbalances in the data and cross-validation for evaluation where um, we divided the data into four parts while training on three of them and validating on the fourth and rotating all over the parts, over all the parts. To evaluate the changes we made, we did an ablation study where we added each change separately and compared the results to a baseline network. The baseline network is just point net uh, with the Cartesian input in addition to the velocity and reflection magnitude. We have not noticed that each change we made contributed a slight improvement to the results, so and the, some of them gave an, um, a significant improvement. 
we can also see the network is better at detecting real targets than ghost targets, but that was expected due to the tricky nature of defining what a ghost target really is. The qualitative results show the effectiveness of the network at detecting ghost tar and real targets. The clearest result can be seen inside tunnels where ghost targets are clearly visible outside the walls of the tunnel. It might be hard to see here, but some of the radar targets are below ground and thus also labeled as ghost targets. In conclusion, we presented a classification algorithm for real and ghost targets in dense 3D radar data by extending the PointNet architecture to tackle the problem. We also presented an approach for automatic labeling and for the problem at hand and showed promising results with more than 65% MIUU in complex driving measurement scenarios. We expect that more improvements can be seen by considering temporal information and tracking in uh, incorporating a deeper and more complex network architectures and using improved vehicle, vehicle information. Thank you for your attention.